Welcome to the Rift Report with Riku, where we go over some amazing Wild Rift plays from around the world. And this time around, we'll be checking out players displaying the coolest, confident, easy breezy attitude you've ever seen on the Rift. For our first highlight, let's take a look at the Go4 Wild Rift Grand Finals between Mezexis Esports and Leite Esports in the Latam region. <laughs> That could be like support. What support? If I can go for the kill, I'm a tower dive you with no hesitation. He definitely decided what the tides will bring, and it is the game ending double kill under tower into an ace. While Leita lost the first two games, they reverse swept Mezexis Esports starting from its game three victory. Up next is a scene you're all too familiar with. We've got Hyde from RRQ against three members of Guangdong Freaks in the Asia Invitational semifinals. Imagine. That Cyclone getting autoed by a Renekton? This is peak Unbothered King energy as he destroys the tower and runs away with 1 HP. Nice clutch prismatic barrier, Marky. RRQ won the series 3-2 and were sent to face RY Rolster in the Grand Finals. Let's return to the Lat Am region for a very action movie-like scene from the Movie Star Super Series Grand Finals between Osaka and Crusader Gaming. <laughs> La propia Ari, la dio oportunidad, mucho daño, oh, pero no es suficiente. Se salva nomás el propio de Invictus. Y ahí está Instri que se queda a uno. Que le... Instinct shows off his confidence by dashing into the dragon pit. Pew pew pew, 1v2 J Toga and Zone. His teammates had no flash and dash skills were on cooldown, unable to join the arena right away. Instinct held his own and survived with 1 HP till the rest could follow through. Sokka won this series finale. What would you do if you had a numbers disadvantage and were surrounded by RY Rolster with a Baron buff and at a crucial Grand Finals game number 5? Helios shows us once again how it's done. <laughs> and killer skills, he saw the need to eliminate RY members to prevent a possible game-ending push. With Marky in high down and Shaz at low health, Helios dives in and kills three with the swaggiest energy I've ever seen. While he fell after the skirmish, this gave RRQ a second chance to fight back and become the first ever champions of the Wild Rift Circuit Asia Invitationals. And now we have Zisu from Team Flash giving us a seemingly seamless performance on his Kha'Zix against Unsold Stuff Gaming at the Asia Invitational. in and out in teamfight when you're a squishy bug poses its challenges. But Zisu makes this Kha'Zix Pentacle look so breezy. He repositions to hide from Katsuki and carefully picks the lowest health target to bounce off of these resets. What a satisfying way to ace and end the game. And that is it for today's episode of The Rift Report with Riku. Tune in again next time for more awesome highlights from The Rift.